I think that everybody has experience with with death and with tragedy. I mean, it's something that's we don't talk about it a lot. It's kind of taboo to bring it up, but we're all going to die at some point. I think all of us know somebody who's passed away or who's had experience with a loved one passing away. And for some reason, like I said, it's it's a taboo topic, but I think learning to deal with grief and sort of coping with the process, you know, the grieving process is something that I think could be more of a conversation. You can see that this is for them not just an assignment but something that they really want to say. You know, they put they're trying to say something with this film and that's really great. Everybody on set is really uh, fun to work with and easy going, but at the same time we all got this this energy of like this goal, this story that we're trying to tell. We are ready, kind of. We're setting up Jacob's room, which is awesome. Um, we just need more lights for it. So we're gonna make it really illuminated so it can look really nice and pretty. Um, but other than that, I think we're all set. This is Jacob's tent. His imagination tent. So it needs to be big enough for Jacob and his dad. Uh, we tested it, we size test it, dad fits. So now we're just trying to make it look more fun. The room's so perfect. It's better than what I thought it was going to be. Um, and as far as, you know, everybody's cooperation, it's been amazing. Everybody was on time. Everybody's ready to work. I think the actors are really ready. Our child actor, RJ, who's playing Jacob, he is so playful that he's he doesn't really have to know, you know, what's going on. Like, he doesn't know certain things because we don't want him to kind of be pushed back into something that's a little bit negative or sad, um, you know, as far as the story goes. But he's in his playful mode and that's exactly where we want him to be. And he works so well with Peter, who's playing Jason. I think their chemistry is gonna really show on screen. So I can see that they're prepared and I see that they're having a blast together. All right, go to the tent. Good. Brittany, was that good? Do you want us to- That was to... good, that was good. Let's do it one more time, okay? Let's do it from the cupboard, buddy. So when you, when I open the cupboard and I tickle him, how do you want us, like, is, was that good? <laughs> perfect, perfect, perfect. Of course, Hode is really good. He knows exactly what he's doing and he knows his stuff. And, you know, whenever there's a problem or if there's something that we need to fix or there's something that we have a question about, it's, he already knows, like, at snap of finger that what needs to be changed or what needs to be adjusted. We're gonna try and boom a light panel over our tent so we can try and get like illuminate the inside. Put the whole light okay, where the fan is. Yeah, or put like the C stand, stand where the, the fan right, is and try and like actually boom it like you over like a top got, light. There you go, perfect. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot better. Lighting in the beginning was a little bit tricky because we were trying to get the tent just right with uh, like the magical stuff and um, getting like the fog machine just right was kind of Tricky at first, but I think we got it eventually. <laughs> I didn't even know you was up here. Dude, I know this looks bad. <laughs> quiet on set, quiet. We're gonna take room tone. Room tone, quiet. I'll close that door. I'll Actually, hold on. Can we get a bunch of PAs up here real quick? PA party upstairs. <laughs> All right, we're good. So it's this. So it's, this is pre ballpark. So this would be 10. Yeah. Yeah. So wait, so that's right. He needs to be in a shot. I think okay. he's misunderstood because I don't know what he's doing. I'll bring him down. He knows he's there. I told him I'll stand up for him. 12 o'clock. But you can't stand in for a shot. Then we need him in. I'm not, no, I meant like so he can set the shot up. So when he gets back, it's right. Do you, just need, do you just need a shoulder? I can get his. I don't know. I just can use, can I don't think it was just communicated that he needs to come back up here. All right. You gotta uh, close the door. A little bit lower with the slate. Don't move. Ready? And action. Gotcha! <laughs> <laughs> and cut. Oh, uh, well, we were kind of wasted like 40 minutes at the beginning of the day because we needed to get some more lights. Um, just fine. It gave everybody a little more time to set up. As always, we have our frustrating moments. Just staying on time is always the thing that frustrates people. <laughs> what are we waiting on, you guys? Brittany, or not me this time. Okay, come on, let's go. I'm ready. We're waiting on you. No, we're waiting on sound. Oh, what are we waiting on sound? We need sound. Oh, yeah.
We're running out of time, kind of. We're not really. We have time at this location. We still need other ones to get to. But we only have this one for another 40 minutes. Yes, sir. Take three. Do we, we so push for time. Like... Yeah, we had a yeah, delay. That's start time. We had a major delay. Uh, I feel some tension in this. I'm good to go. Let's get this done in three minutes. Okay. So reset. Very, 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 very good. I'm happy with it. Are you serious? What was wrong with it? I like that take. We're good with that take. All right, tell me we got it. We got it. Do you want to see it go over here? I'm. I just got a call from Mendez. I'm okay. getting worried. It's fine. I just talked to Bree. What's going on? I guess they moved off Amy's yard because the I cops know. are coming. The lady's gonna call the cops. Oh my god. The thing is, she's mad we're on her lawn, but I know she doesn't take care of that lawn, so I don't know what she's so mad about. It's not like she has to clean up after us. Who's in charge? Hi. Her problem? Okay. Alright, well then, we need to go. I don't know why we want to do it's another shot of this. It's no, up to you. I mean, we can shoot one now. more if you guys are quick. But... No, I want to go back to, to home so we can quickly eat yeah, and get out the way. Okay. Because this is really irritating. Grab one real fast of him right. No, we're done. Come right. on. I'm, I'm pissed off now. The one that called me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Welcome to see Charles! <laughs> Okay, see you guys now. now. Yeah, so we can figure I mean, this out. Sounds good. good. And then Patrick, we're actually going to send here. you with Glenn. I think our production turned out to be the least amount of people working on it. And I think we all really just came together and got what we needed to get done, done on time. We all crash and burn with each other sometimes, but I think that all in all, we probably will make a really, really good film. Just getting everybody together and being rushed and having to do, you know, forms for, um, you know, like location agreements and insurance agreements on top of all the AD stuff. So it was a little, little stressful, but I think everybody kept it together. Schaffner really just came together and he, he did bust me and Brittany's ass the whole entire time to get us through what we needed to get through. Just, yeah, honestly, the time and the lighting just really killed us. Yeah, it's been a really great three days. Everyone feels like a big family, everyone working together to get this film done. So, that's a wrap, guys. <laughs>